Hi everybody, my name is Didier Klein and I'm from ID to 3D in Belgium and today I'm going to show you how to change the nozzle on the Ultimaker 3 with the Hardcore from 3D Solex. So you need a 7mm socket wrench, the nozzle changer tool, I have a link for that in the description and of course a Hardcore nozzle. Before changing the nozzle, the best practice is to do a cold pull to clean the inside of the nozzle. Step 1. Put the head in the front corner. We do this to prevent damage to the rods if you put too much pressure on the head. Step 2. Heat up the core to 210 degrees for PLA. For other materials, you have to adapt that temperature. Step 3. Push the filament by hand. To do this, you have to hold the feeder lever up in order to extrude some filament. So you just push until some filament comes out of the nozzle. Step 4. Drop the temperature to 90 degrees for PLA. So for ABS, this might be 110 degrees or something like that, it depends. While the printer is cooling down, we can continue to push the filament by hand to fill the inside of the nozzle. So do this until 160 degrees or something, then wait for the printer to cool down. Step 5, the cold pull. With the feeder lever up, you pull firmly on the filament to take it out of the core. So you have to pull it firmly. Now the nozzle is clean so you can raise the temperature back to 160 degrees. If you feel that the nozzle isn't clean enough, you can repeat the cold pull several times. We are heating the core again to 160 because it's better to change the nozzle when the core is hot. When the nozzle is clean and the core is hot, you can change the nozzle. You have to shut down the printer to avoid a heater error. So you need a 7mm socket wrench, the nozzle changer tool, I have a link for that in the description, and of course a hardcore nozzle. Shut down the printer to avoid a heater error. Then, take the core out. Be careful, it's hot. And slide the core in the nozzle changer tool, like this. Then use the socket wrench to unscrew the nozzle. The nozzle is hot, so you will burn your fingers. Take the new nozzle and screw it with your fingers in the core. Then use the socket wrench to screw it as much as you can. Make sure that it is tight enough. When you're done, you can now take the core and put it back in the printer. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Also, if you liked what you saw, hit that like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in my next video.